What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I've got a story time for y'all about this dude's crazy girlfriend that ended up trying to like, you know, smash all of his video games. Yeah, I know it's definitely a little bit out there. Regardless, I figured it would be a pretty fun video. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Without further ado, press the like button or no joke, no scam, your video games are going to get smashed and uh, let's go. Yeah, this shit, it just has begun. I'm just about to say it. Yeah, my homies never got to work as I all right, naturally, ladies and gentlemen, I think everybody goes through a time uh, where they get a little bit addicted to a video game. You know, I've had my fair share. There was a period of time in high school where I was coming home and just playing CSGO until like 3 in the morning for months straight. Uh, it does happen from time to time, you know? And naturally, when you become obsessed with something different than like what you were used to be obsessed with, sometimes that can uh, rub people the wrong way and cause issues with people that used to be getting that time and attention, you know? And I guess the guy that sent in this story uh, was dating a girl at the time and she ended up having to play sports for a season so she started being incredibly busy. She started having practices after school, games every day, all that good stuff so him and this girlfriend couldn't hang out a lot. And uh, in response to her being busy a lot he started getting really really into the newest Call of Duty at the time. Now Call of Duty is one of those games where like when you're not into it it's not very addicting but if you get sucked in that game can black hole your life real hard. So whatever he gets really into Call of Duty and he's playing for like eight hours a day, you know, and it's not really that big of a deal because his girlfriend was also incredibly busy all the time. It's not like he was ignoring her to play video games or whatever. And for a while, that's just the way it was. He's super into video games. She plays her sports and that's that. But uh, once her season ends, she starts being able to hang out after school every day. She starts being able to come over all the time. And for some reason, this guy's Call of Duty addiction doesn't really end, you know, like instead of being like, ah, it's been a good run. I should go back to living my normal life now, he decides that he still wants to be playing these video games all the time. Now, when I first heard this, I was like, ah, I've got to clown this dude real hard. He goes on to explain the reason for him doing that was he had gotten involved in this, like, Call of Duty team at the time, and he was making money running the team. So it had kind of become his job as well, which is why he was spending time on it. Still, I don't know, uh, there are certain times you should probably just take a little break. But regardless, this is his job, and he loves to do it, and, you know, as somebody that does nothing but make YouTube videos, Videos, I'm not gonna tell anybody that they're not allowed to do what they want when they want to do it You know like in terms of their job or whatever if you really want to sit inside and play Call of Duty for 18 hours That's what makes you happier than anything else on the planet Eh, I'm not really one to tell you not to do it But whatever his girlfriend obviously started to have an issue with the amount of video games he was playing right and uh, Usually when you have an issue with something that someone you're dating is doing you would kind of sit him down Talk to him about it Maybe have a discussion about how it makes you feel or whatever and you know those are all good ways to start, but her approach was a little bit more, um, how would you say, ah, ooh, not well thought out. She decides that she's just going to come at him and accuse him of being, like, a loser, saying that his life is going to go nowhere and video games are a ginormous waste of time and... Honestly, she thinks it's pathetic how much he plays. And listen, all of these things might be true to you. You might believe all of these things are true. But still, when you're dating somebody, the very least, you kind of got to just keep your mouth shut and support them when they're doing something that they want to do, you know? Imagine if when this girl was, like, playing her sports season, this guy would have been like, ooh, yeah, sports are pretty stupid. I'm going to be honest with you. It's quite pathetic that you care that much. Yes, I understand they are different, but when you're dating somebody, the least you should do is be nice to him, bro. So obviously when the dude gets this message, he's kind of like, well, screw you. I'm gonna keep playing video games. If that's how you want to be, if you think it's pathetic, then, you know, forget about it. So he basically replies and said, look, we're going to talk about this tomorrow, but I'm frustrated right now and I don't want to talk. His feelings are hurt or whatever. So he puts his phone face down and just goes back to playing video games because he's upset, right? Now, I guess uh, the girl had thought that he had just like put the phone down and was ignoring her while just sitting there doing nothing. He doesn't notice this because he's got his headphones on, but I guess the phone is just buzzing. She's calling, she's texting, she's doing everything to get in touch with him, and he's just not replying because he's playing video games, not 
paying attention to his phone at all. And this, this is where the craziness happens, right? Now, usually in this situation, you'd be frustrated, but you just kind of, whatever, I, I deal with it, I guess. They don't want to talk right now. Well, I guess she decides that she has had enough of these video games, so she's gonna go over to his house and, and just take care of this once and for all, you know? So she did live considerably far away, and neither one of them could drive at the time, so she ends up getting in this car and, like, stealing her parents' car, basically, to get over to this dude's house just to yell at him about his video games, which, uh, I'm not gonna lie, is commitment at the very least, you know. Uh, I've had enough of these games, I'm stealing a car to come yell at you. You can't say she wasn't extremely upset. I don't know, I, the, trying to think of any bright side, but whatever. He's just sitting there playing video games, and all of a sudden, his girlfriend bursts into his room pissed, and he's kind of like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And she's yelling at him. She's like, where's the stupid game? Where's the stupid game? And he's like, what are you doing here? What are you doing? And she finally spots his Xbox, walks over to it, hits the eject button, and in it was the latest Call of Duty at the time. And she takes it and uh, puts her hands on either side of the discs and just snaps the disc in half. And he is obviously like, what are you doing? But he's really not like incredibly pissed off. He's just kind of more confused because he doesn't know what's happening. And she's like, good luck playing your stupid video game now that you just lost all your progress. Like, aha, good luck now that I broke it. And he kind of is like, oh no, you broke the game! Because he realizes that she thought that all of his progress was tied to the disc itself. And that's not how online games work. As long as he, like, you know, gets another disc, all of his stuff is still gonna be there. But whatever, he's like, oh no, you broke the game. And she's like, yeah, I did, I did. So no more wasting your time on it, do you understand? And he's like, wait a minute, you just came to my house because you were so mad at me that you wanted to break my stuff, and you broke my stuff and you're still mad? And she's like, yeah, in fact, I'm not done yet. And obviously next to his Xbox, he had his Xbox games, because that's where you put that stuff. And she just starts opening cases and snapping discs like there's no tomorrow, bro. It was like, you know, there was a firm getting audited by the IRS, and that was their paper shredder. Just snap, snap, snap. She gets through about five more games before he finally, like, you know, takes them away from her and is like, what are you doing? And she starts saying that, like, he needs to pick between video games and her because, you know, they're growing up now, and they're getting close to adulthood, and he has to do all this. They're like 14, 15 you know, like, that. not, not at the point where he needs to be quitting video games to focus on his girlfriend, you know? So he's just kind of sitting there, and he's looking at these broken games, and he's looking at her, and he's like, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Alright guys, I'm gonna interrupt the video for just one second. On screen now is actually a PlayStation gift card. I give away a gift card in every single one of these videos as a way to just say thank you to you guys for supporting me. So, if you are already subscribed with notifications on, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, I literally give away free money, so you got nothing to lose. Press that button and subscribe so you never miss another video. And, uh, on that note, I'll let you guys get back to it. Thank you for the support. And she's, like, stupefied at what he just said. So she asks again, she's like, well, what do you mean? He says, well, you know, if you're saying that, like, I have to grow up and start getting ready to, like, be your husband and stuff, I I'm, I'm 15, lady. Like, I'm not, I'm not really down with that. So, uh, I'm good. And she's like, are you kidding me? Do you have any idea that you're throwing away your future for video games right now? Like, you're actually breaking up with a real girl for video games right now. And he's like, no, I'm not breaking up with you because of video games. I'm breaking up with you because you want me to act like a 55-year-old man and I'm like a 15-year-old. And yeah, I would rather hang out with my friends and do fun stuff right now than like have somebody that's gonna come into my room, break all the stuff that I like, and then get mad at me for being like, hey, that's not super cool. So yeah, you know, I, I would kind of rather at this moment in time just, just not. And the look on her face, bro, it was almost as if she didn't even expect that to be an answer, you know? It's like if you were taking a Scantron test and A, B, C, and D were the only answers and you got it back and E was the right one. You'd be like, well, what the hell, bro? That wasn't even a verifiable option. And then, man, the insults just start flying. She starts saying that he's a loser. He's going to die alone with his video game collection because he's such a loser. Keep in mind, he has like 10 games and he's 15, bro. Like, listen, I, I all of you guys out there, I mean this in the nicest way possible. There's a chance you might marry the girl that you're dating right now. It's, it's possible, don't get it wrong. Chances are, it's that's not what's going to happen. You know what I mean? So, like, if somebody's gonna break your stuff and, and make you quit all these things you like, it's probably not worth it, because chances are, they ain't the one anyways, dog. And if they were, they wouldn't be breaking all your stuff and making you quit things you enjoy. You know what I mean? So, anyways, they end up breaking up, because he just kind of, after the torrent of insults, is kind of, uh, just sitting there like, are you done? You know, like, alright, well, 
well, uh, now that I know how you feel, I, I really think we should probably break up. So it's been lit, you know, high five, fam. Give a little shaky bait. Give me a five-star review on Yelp or something, and uh, deuces. And on the way out, you know, for good measure, she takes his controller that was on his bed, and she throws it on the floor trying to break it. She doesn't break it. Can't even break a controller. Oh, my goodness. Absolute bot. And, you know, she storms out of there in the stolen car, which is the funniest part of all of this. She did all of this to come over, like, give him this big ultimatum in the stolen car, and then he dumped her, bro. She stole her parents' car to get dumped. Like, that's kind of a big L if you think about it. Regardless, after that, he just kind of, um, just stayed out of her way. They stayed out of each other's way, didn't really interact that much, and he never did become a pro gamer or whatever, and he did naturally play less video games as he kind of got older and, like, grew up. But yeah, nah, for a couple years after that, he still had a bunch of fun playing video games and he wasn't really worried about being someone's husband it's pretty pretty uh pretty vibey anyways guys i think that's gonna do it for the video though hopefully you enjoyed if you did i'd appreciate you pressing the like button and commenting the word turtle down below if you enjoyed if you're in the mood for some g fuel which will make you an absolutely cracked gamer an absolute pro use code scrubby at the checkout it gives you a discount it gives me a discount high five everybody wins other than that if you guys like the intro song a link to it will be down in the description along with a link to my podcast the scuffed cast it's pretty swagtastic and you should check it out and yeah if you are in the mood for merch the link to that's also down there that's pretty cool subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff to never miss another video and uh yeah on that note guys don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace